Again, I find myself limp at the bottom of the stairs. I could only have arrived here by falling. Yet I am no Icarus who soared too far from Earth. No molten beeswax sweetens my accelerating shadow. There are no bloody clots or malodorous bodily effusions to collect around my torso. Just a hint of a story, a clue in chalk or sawdust moved ever so subtly aside. When we loaded up a van with slabs of iced beer, fishing tackle, our sing-along swags, we had not planned to join the space race. How then did we escape gravity with airless ease and re-enter sky with neither heat shield nor helium balloons? How did we discover ourselves underground beneath meteor crater rust with barely detectable traces of pre-existing life? Your fingertip bone divided, sliced, butter soft, future purloined. Now you might never solve a safe cracker's code, grasp the span of an octave, the warp and weft of fine Irish linen, check the sweep of a chill ghostly across your brow, a ruffle in your hair. You might never count loose coins shortchanged within your purse, or fives or tens beyond your idling, soap-fresh palms. Although neither librarian nor accountant, my books stand in good order. Confidential assignations determined by something other than an acrid taste in my throat, sour fog in my eyes, lightning static in my ears as every once in a while a letter drops almost to my feet your voice unfolds flutters ground between burnished knot holes and yesterday's unpolished scuff marks one short of the devil's number who knows what will happen next a slide from grace, an unintended collision, momentary amputation, re-established lines of fleeting communication. Unless, perhaps, we revert to childhood and we ring a ring a rosy, we all fall down and sleep the sleep of the sunstruck. Unless we awaken, seeking solace, catch a final slip of the tongue.